After shooting all the videos and editing them, I realized there were some things that I had left out or had forgotten and only remembered as I was making the videos. One thing I wanted to talk about was Herman Yao's fascinating collection of t-shirts. Every day he would wear a different t-shirt and I guess because I'm of a certain age and of a certain kind of, you know, musical and cultural disposition, I recognized a lot of them. You really haven't lived until you're sitting on a movie set one day and you realize the director is wearing a Cheech and Chong t-shirt. Here's a picture of him at the premiere, and I don't know if you can tell, but his t-shirt is Led Zeppelin's The Song Remains the Same. It was great fun for me because almost every day I'd look at his t-shirt, point at it and smile, and he'd give me the thumbs up. Because I bought those records too. I also haven't mentioned it previously, but I did get a chance to meet Philip Kung. He was really nice considering I was practically babbling at him, and it was an awful lot of fun to get a chance to work with him in a scene in the movie. If you watch it, you'll know which one it is. Speaking of which, let's just say that the last time you see me on screen, I didn't do a very good job, and I can admit that. I didn't work as directly with Zhang Wu, who plays the main bad guy, but we did spend an awful lot of time around each other because of the way things were framed. In fact, if you watch the movie, you'll notice I'm in the background a lot more than I expected to be. The funny thing about Zhang Wu is that he had an MP5K, the very small version of the MP5, that he wore around his neck most of the time. I don't know if you realize this, but for the vast majority of these kinds of movies, we're given air gun replicas unless we have to fire blanks, at which time they give us real weapons. But understandably, they exercise a lot of control over those and take them right back as soon as we're done. Because Zhang Wu does some shooting in the movie, and because sometimes it was too close quarters to use blanks, what they would do is basically use the air pistol and add in the flash and noise later. What this means is that the air pistol was charged with compressed air, but at first, Jiang Wu didn't know that. So one morning, around 2 or 3 a.m., we're all sitting around waiting for the cameras to be moved, and I suddenly hear, <laughs> and I look over, and there's Jiang Wu with this smile on his face because he's figured it out. And for the next few days, every now and then, usually about 4 o'clock in the morning when things would get to be a little dull, I would hear, <laughs> and I'd look over and he'd just smile at me. And it was really fun because he doesn't really speak English, I don't speak Mandarin, but we could share this moment, and it was good because it kept everybody in a good mood. Overall, this was easily the best experience I've had of making a movie, and I'm really glad that I could share it with people.